Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Shocking twist. Coronation Street cut from Manchester Pride Parade. What it means for ITV. Coronation Street won't be taking part in this year's Manchester Pride Parade next week, reportedly due to cost cuts at ITV. This is the first time in the last decade that they won't have put in an appearance at the annual celebrations. The long-running soap, a British and Mancunian institution, was devised by gay screenwriter Tony Warren and has featured a large number of LGBTQ plus actors and characters on the famed cobbles over the years. It's become somewhat of a tradition for stars of the show, amongst behind-the-scenes crew, to take part in the Saturday parade of floats and marchers that stretches from Deansgate on one side of the city centre to Fairfield Street near Canal Street, Manchester's gay village. We even saw it included in storylines last year when Paul Foreman, Peter Ash, brought three drag queens back to the Rovers to continue the party. The full event takes place across August bank holiday weekend, first officially taking place in 1985 after being awarded council funding following a number of successful fundraising events. In previous years, Coronation Street have created their very own colorful float, often with a specific theme. We've seen a greatest showman circus style with ITV staff dressed as ringmasters, Graduation Street which was inspired by 1978 musical Grease, and one based around traditional fairy tales. Their contributions weren't as extravagant during the last two festivals, with an ITV Pride bandit bus driving through the streets in 2022, and a walking entry following a Newton and Ridley van in 2023. At the time, ITV said they wanted to be as green as possible and cut down on emissions, despite ITVB reality show The Real Housewives of Cheshire jumping on board a float, which was included in an episode of the series. A source told the Manchester Evening News that the decision has been made as a result of ITV-wide cost controls on expenses, entertaining and paid for attendance at events. Metro.co.uk understands that some cast members are taking part in a personal capacity, with Barbara Knox and Sue Devaney, who play Rita Tanner and Debbie Webster, appearing on the Alan Turing stage during your Manchester Live on Sunday 25th. Gemma Winterbrown actress Dolly Rose Campbell will also appear on stage in Bar Pop on Friday 23rd. A spokesperson for ITV told us, ITV cast and colleagues will be present in a personal capacity, however this year we won't be having a formal entry. We continue to underline our commitment to our LGBTQ plus colleagues and viewers across the year, and our celebration of pride includes our This Living Room is a Proud One on Air campaign starring Alan Carr. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.